this famous TikToker. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get so much hate for this, but. We are the dreamers of dreams. welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing my 20 super unpopular opinions so i thought i'd make today's video into a little game as well so what i want you to do is as you're watching this video i want you to make note and count up all of my unpopular opinions that you agree with and then at the end of the video i want you to write in the comment section how many of these you agreed with so it can be zero if you want that's completely okay i want you to be honest and then we can talk about it in the comment section if there is any you agreed with me on and if there's just zero you can still comment that i feel like these are going to be super unpopular though so i'm going to genuinely be shocked if there's many that you guys agree with me on so if you haven't done already please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button i post every wednesday and sunday at 5 pm but sometimes more so if you subscribe to this channel you will always get content and let's get straight into this video of my super unpopular opinions Okay, so we'll start off with a bang. Unpopular opinion number one, that Dixie D'Amelio is a better dancer than Charlie D'Amelio. I'm kidding, oh my gosh. They're not that unpopular. But for real, unpopular opinion number one, ketchup is gross. Like, oh my gosh. I have never liked ketchup since a child. It is like the blood of Satan. Like, I was the weirdo kid at the parties and at school, the only weirdo kid that never liked ketchup. And fun fact, I have never met anyone ever in my whole life that doesn't like it. So, if you already agree with this opinion and you don't like ketchup too, you, you could be like my first ever person that I'm gonna actually meet that doesn't like ketchup. But yeah, unpopular opinion, I think it is absolutely gross opinion number two i think the tv show friends is dreadful oh my gosh okay so loads of you guys know my ex-boyfriend probably david the amount of times my ex tried to get me to watch friends it's just it's not funny it's dated and i feel like the storyline is just unbelievable i just think it's absolutely rubbish and i don't think i will ever ever watch it I just think it's rubbish. Unpopular opinion number three, Danielle Cohn. I like Danielle Cohn. And I know that's probably so unpopular. And I'm not gonna lie to you, when she was younger, I don't know why I couldn't stand her. Like, I used to see her on Musical.ly and I couldn't even watch her videos. I'm not sure what it was, but I feel like now she's grown up, she's matured. And her and Mikey, I think, you know, is the lovely little thing they have going on. And I genuinely feel like she's grown into a nice young lady now. So I didn't used to like her, but I actually like Danielle Cohn now. Opinion number four is Dance Moms related. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this one. Oh my gosh. I think, personally, that Liliana Ketchman is better than Maddie Ziegler. And obviously, oh my gosh, there is no taking away Maddie's talent, everything she's done with Sia, her technique. She is like, probably was a child prodigy, probably. But I do feel like Lily was better. I feel like she was more trained in ballet. She had better technique and ballet is the foundation of dance. So I also feel as though her flexibility obviously was better. And her facial expressions, especially in the final season that just aired last year, I feel like that could actually rival Maddie's. And Liliana's facial expressions, I feel, were more expressive and they changed more, whereas Maddie just had that one same Maddie face lyrical expression. So, in my opinion, I genuinely feel as though Lily is like the only dancer that ever rivaled Maddie and was better than her on Dance Moms. And popular opinion number five, Iced coffee is better than hot coffee. Oh my gosh. Hot coffee is like Shrek's swamp mud warmed up and topped with rocks. Whereas iced coffee is like, you know, ice cubes and sugar and you can get caramel and everything. I don't know, I just way, way, way prefer iced coffee over the Shrek coffee. Number six, another TikToker one. I might get hate for this as well. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think that Avani has better content 
than Addison Rae. And I'm not saying Addison Rae's content is bad at all. She's a talented dancer, she's gorgeous, she's body confident, she's stunning. But I feel as though Avani has more creative content. She does the cool makeup, she has the, the contact lenses, she has like weird wacky out of the box ideas. Whereas Addison tends to just do the trending dances. So I feel as though Avani has better content because she's more creative. And popular opinion number seven, Snapchat streaks are pointless. Unless you're 12, I don't get the point in doing Snapchat streaks. Like, I know someone that's like 25 and he still does them every single day. And like, he doesn't talk to any of his friends. Like, you just put the S and then click send to keep a score by your name. I don't understand. And what is the point? Because that score will run out someday. Even if you keep it going until you're like 104, you're gonna die and the score is gonna go, right? So what's the point of it? Someone please tell me genuinely, what's the point in Snapchat streak? And popular opinion number eight, chopstick kills bug me. I can't stand them. And I'm not saying that girls that, that do chopstick kill their hair don't look nice, because they look stunning and gorgeous. Every girl is gorgeous, obviously. But I don't know why it just bugs me, like, I don't know what it is. I feel like I want to brush them out all the time. I prefer like relaxed curls rather than the tight, tight, tight chopstick curls. I just, nope, I just don't like them. And popular opinion number nine, I think this is only in the UK. I don't know if Americans have this. Costa is vile. Like there's the whole rivalry in the UK between Costa and Starbucks. And Costa is vile. And I tr I've tried. Trust me, I've tried. I've had like hot chocolates from there. I've had Christmas specials from there. I've tried like the ice drinks, the frappuccinos. I've tried everything possible and I can never find a drink that I like from Costa. Opinion number 10, Converse are better than Vans. Again, I was the weirdo in high school. The only weirdo that wore Converse. Everyone else wore Vans. I don't know why, I just really like, and I like the boot leg converse you know the ones that go up the ankle i feel like i'm definitely alone on that island but yeah i just feel like converse are comfier definitely and they look smarter they're just more of a vibe more chill and popular opinion number 11 is that the goal of every relationship should be marriage i feel like if you go into a relationship and you don't plan on being with them forever or you don't want to get married then there's no point in that relationship i feel like you don't just purposefully date someone for it to be temporary and i've heard some of my friends talk about this they say yeah i'm with my boyfriend now but i know we're not going to be together forever and i don't get that like why would you date someone if you don't know you're going to be together forever is it like just an experience i don't get it like for me a relationship should always be eternal not a temporary thing and popular opinion number 12 pineapple does not go on pizza no I'll, I'll fight you on that and i'm just gonna leave that one there no and popular opinion number 13 tea is gross it's the most popular drink in the uk and it's just like really really sour bad water even tea bags they smell horrific how people can drink tea i don't know and i'm probably the only british person that's ever gonna say this this is probably so unpopular but tea is so gross number 14 the lion king is the worst disney movie why would you make a disney movie for children that is that sad i can't even watch it as an adult now i only watched it once in my whole life and it traumatized me Nope, never watching it again. Worst Disney movie. Oh. Unpopular opinion number 15 is that staying up late in the night is better than getting up in the morning. So I'm a night owl and I 100 million percent think it's better to stay up late and stay up till the early hours and then get up later in the day than be up at like 9 a.m. in the morning. And loads of my friends are like, yeah, but you waste the day if you stay in bed. Like, I don't get that. I can't understand that at all. I'd much rather stay up late when it's dark and quiet outside and be under the stars and all that than get up early. Number 16, sandwiches should never have butter in them. I feel like sandwiches with butter are gross. Butter just doesn't go with ham, it doesn't go with cheese, and it makes everything slimy. No one's gonna agree with that one. Unpopular opinion number 17. 
Next, the honeymoon phase doesn't exist. So loads of people say when you get in a relationship for the, for the next few weeks you have a honeymoon phase. But apparently the honeymoon phase is like a phase where you're really really in love with your partner and you love them so much and then that fades away and you just go into a more normal relationship. But for me, I've never felt that. I've never felt that after a certain phase, after a few weeks, my love is any less for them. I can't physically understand the honeymoon phase. And again, my ex-boyfriend always told me that he'd moved out of that and, and I feel like I never did. That was probably a rift in our relationship. Yeah, I feel like the honeymoon phase doesn't exist because your love should always stay the same throughout for your partner. Number 18, jam donuts are vile. Like, oh my gosh, give me one of those iced donuts. You know, like a Homer Simpson type of donut. I love them, they're amazing. But give me a donut with jam inside and the sugar on top. It doesn't make sense to me. How can people eat these? Like, jam does not go in donuts. Donuts should be icing, not jam. No. Number 19 is that the best gaming console and brand out there is Nintendo. And loads of people are either going to say Xbox or PlayStation, but for me personally, I think Nintendo is the best. Nintendo's come out with Super Mario, Mario Kart Racing, Zelda, all of these amazing games. Like, for me personally, Nintendo is the best. It has the most creative and imaginative games. And lastly, number 20 is another kind of dance moms one. I believe that Maddie Ziegler helped Sia more than Sia helped Maddie. So I believe that loads of people say that Maddie originally became, you know, really famous from Sia's videos. That's what blew her up being in her music videos. And I agree with that. But I feel as though Maddie helped Sia more. Maddie got Sia's music more attraction. For example, me and my friends, we never even heard of Sia until Maddie was in the music video and then we only started following Sia and watching Sia's videos because of Maddie. So I think Maddie promoted Sia more and pushed Sia more than Sia did for Maddie. Okay, so that is my 20 super unpopular opinions. I can just imagine how triggered you all are now. I'm so sorry if I've offended anyone. I don't think any of them were like hateful. They were just my personal opinions. But please comment down below how many you have that you agree with me on. I am so excited to see that and to talk to you guys in the comments about it. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, which is Sunday at 5 p.m. if I don't post an extra one in between. And I will talk to you guys in the comments. Have a good day. Love you. Bye.